John Legend and Chrissy Teigen share precious moments before the loss of their son. Hello, all. So, um, first of all, thank you for writing me. Um, but I also want to let you know, um, you don't have to. Like, it's, I promise, I'm, like, not keeping tabs on who's checking in. And, like, I don't share all this stuff because um, I, I want people to like worry or check in it's just like I share absolutely everything so why not this stuff too um but I don't do this so people will worry like uh or freak out or like I get actually uncomfortable when people write me and they're like I'm so sorry I'm so sorry that makes me um that makes me feel weird so I'd kind of rather you didn't but I love you and it's okay um so I just want to share some stuff if you are a doctor, um, I cannot express enough um, how badly I would like for you to stop your guessing games or, um, you know, Twitter please to figure out what I'm doing wrong or, um, or diagnosing me via Twitter. Um, I've seen it all. I've seen a lot of it. Uh, you have to trust me that I have very good doctors who know what they're doing, who know the entire story. There's so much more than you guys could ever, ever imagine, okay? I share a lot, but but not absolutely everything, okay? So trust me when I say they know, and, um, and I just want to keep things so simple for you guys, so. So yeah, that's all basically. Um, I just really, really, I just, the most unhelpful thing is when I get suggestions of, um, you know, from medical Twitter and Instagram, like, have you tried this? Have you done this? Because all it does is make me feel really anxious and nervous and like I did something wrong or so just, well, I know that sharing my story, it's naturally going to come with, with people trying to be helpful. But, um, at this point, since I can't really do anything uh, and baby can't really do anything, it's not really that helpful. So please don't. So um, we all know I've been on bed rest for a few weeks and that's like super serious bed rest. Like get up to quickly pee and that's it. I would take like baths like twice a week, uh, no showering, um, just like as little as possible. And we all watched that, but um, I was always, always bleeding. Um, you know, I'm about like halfway through pregnancy and um, uh, the blood has been going on for like a month. So like may maybe a little bit less than a month, but we're talking like more than your period, girls. Um, and definitely not spotting. A lot of people spot and it's usually fine. Um, but yeah, mine was a lot. So, you know, kind of every time I would go to the bathroom, um, it would be blood, but honestly, just laying there would just be blood. But today, the big difference was that it kind of was like if you were to just kind of turn a faucet on to low and leave it there and just kind of leave it. And it's so weird because I feel really good. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm usually at my happiest pregnant. I have mood wise, uh, uh, and I feel like that way. I feel happier than I do not pregnant. So that's why it's so, so hard for me to come to terms with. I keep thinking you're going to see a boob, but I just like, trust me, you're not. It, their levels are way lower than you think. Um, but I like, uh, yeah, so it's like, it's just kind of always on. And it was at the point today where it's just like never stopping bleeding. And that's obviously um, very bad. But um, basically, he like is the strongest, coolest dude in his house. So his house is just like falling apart. Um, like it was never, it didn't have a good foundation um, to begin with though. Ooh, I'm proud, I think my doctors will be proud of that one. Um, but yeah, he didn't have the strongest chance. Um, uh, 
you know, at the very, very beginning. So um, all we're doing now is trying to make sure that he's got a lot of fluid around him and um, that I'm resting obviously as much as possible. And just, you know, it's just hard because there's not much you can do. I'm in that weird in between time of it being really dangerous to try anything. Basically, if I can make it through the next few weeks, if little boy can make it through the next few weeks, um, then, you know, we can go from there and like be able to kind of get through the danger zone or, or whatever. Um, but um, yeah, we have to get through this first. And so, yeah, it is scary. Um, but it's scary in the way that there's just really nothing to do. Um, so I take my progesterone, um, my iron, my, you know, just uh, trust me, I'm, we're on it. We're trying everything we can. So <sighs> I guess like in the simplest of terms, we can say my placenta is really, really weak. Um, so I feel really good. The baby is so healthy, like growing stronger than Luna or Miles. Um, he moves a lot. He's mo he moves like so much earlier than than they ever did. He's like a roly poly, and every we have like a million great pictures of him. Like he's just so different than than they were. Um, so he's so strong and so like I'm just so excited for him because he's so wonderful and and just like the strongest little strongest little dude. Um, so I can't wait for him. Anyhow, little dude, I'm going to show you all these when you come out, you little butthead. I love you. Mommy loves you so, so much, you butt. I love you. John just got up to see what's in the mini bar. What's in the mini bar, John? It's not a mini bar. God. John is doing a bedside sandwich tutorial yeah. for my new nightstand. I got it. Here, <laughs> pre-buttered. Pre-buttered bread from home. Uh-huh. Lots of mayo and mustard. Oh, well, that's looking like an ad. It can be any mayo any until mayo. you pay us. Yeah, mayo. We are faithful to Lay's, though. We do like Lay's. I was just saying, kettle chips cut my mouth too much. Okay. Put some ham on here. We heated it up first because technically mommies aren't supposed to have cold cuts. So Which is so weird because uh, I'm obsessed with cold cuts more than anything when I'm pregnant. But if you microwave them, you can actually fill whatever listeria. And you don't have to microwave the crap out of them. Just a little bit. But it's a way to get around the system. After the mayo, we put some Dijon. <laughs> Why is the butter so important to me? I really don't know. Like, I didn't <laughs> grow up having butter on my sandwiches, but ever since I started doing it for you, I feel like that's on the way to do it now. There's something about butter and ham together that is just so delicious. It's like this salty binding thing to the bread that... Salted butter. That it, Yeah, it's always salted butter too that he yeah, has something about butter and ham. I don't really butter turkey, I butter turkey sandwiches, but it doesn't stand out as much. Potato chips on it. Lays are perfect, because they lay perfectly. That's John's mini bar. That's why he thought was a mini bar. <laughs> what is in there? I haven't looked yet. What's in the fridge? In our fridge? Yeah, John thinks there's alcohol in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Might be, we can check it out though. <laughs> maybe, maybe a jello shot? <laughs> 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 One of the things sandwich making rules for cold cuts is that cheese should not touch the bread. So I like to put it in between things. I didn't know that was a thing for you. It's just, I don't know why. It's just something about how it hits. I'm usually already upstairs when John makes his mm -hmm. nightstand Sammy's. Two cheeses, two hams. Yeah, normally I would do lettuce and tomato, but we're just gonna do lettuce here. We pre-packaged a sandwich making kit. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to 
cut it? Um, yes, please. Oh, actually, no, not with the chips. It's okay. Okay. And there you have it. It's Chrissy's bedside ham. Thank American you. We're gonna go to bed. But thank you all. We love you. Baby feels your love. See you in the morning.